Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you for giving me a little bit of a vacation last week. Um, I was pretty busy with a lot of stuff. Um, but anyways guys, I got a really cool video for you today about what I collect. But first, roll the intro. Kalo, Kalo, they know, they know. Kalo, Kalo, they know, they know. Kalo, Kalo, they know. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Kalo here and I'm back with a video for you guys just to show you. This video was inspired by the word of Yaga. Check out his channel, link in the corner where the little eye is. I'm not gonna mess it up and point where it is. When you're watching a video, it's in the upper right hand corner. There you go. So it'd probably be right up here. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. But anyways, yeah, word of Yaga. Check out his channel. He has some pretty good content. He's only got like a hundred and something, 158 subscribers last time I checked. Definitely check out his channel and send some support. He makes some actually good content, um, and uh, it, and I'm, I actually enjoy his content. Definitely check it out. But yeah, he inspired me to make this video basically to show you guys what I collect. He's got this thing called Collector's Core, and it's basically he's showing off all the things he likes to collect, like anywhere from pop vinyls to marble figures to Mario figures, which is pretty awesome. But let's get right into things, and I'm going to show you what I collect, because I have a pretty... I, I collect a, a wide variety of things, but I'm just going to show you what I collect. So let's start off with the Power Ranger stuff I collect. I basically am a huge Mighty Morphin fan, as you guys can tell. Um, I collect a lot of wide variety of stuff from Mighty Morphin and from Power Rangers in general. To start off, so I got both the Lord Zed figure, Legacy Collection, and the Tommy White Ranger. Couldn't find the Green Ranger version. But I have both of these, and they're pretty darn cool. They're still in box, because I like to keep my things collectible and in box. Don't like to take them out, so yeah. And then also what I got here, which is pretty cool, is the green and white Morpher uh, Legacy Edition. It's a uh, gold Morpher. It has both the White Ranger and the Green Ranger keys. But what's really special about this is it's signed, actually signed by Jason David Frank, and it has not been opened. Okay, and for the next bit of collectibles, because there's so many of them, I'm gonna bring it off the tripod and I'm gonna bring it over to my shelf with all my collectibles. So here we go. It's right above the Analytic poster. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see up there. Let's zoom you in a little bit. But I collect pop vinyls as well. Those are all the pop vinyls I got. I got a Marty McFly, Daniel Bryan, a Batman exclusive from Loot Crate where the Joker is the Batman, Groot Loot Crate exclusive, all three Power Rangers, there's a little glare on there, a uh, hipster version of Little Mermaid, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, CM Punk with the Macho Man tights, that was a Hot Topic exclusive. Zoom you out a little bit. Then you got a Minion, a John Cena, a guy from Game of Thrones, or no, not Game of Thrones, General Zod, and then Dr. Emmett Brown. And then of course, up there, I have a Power Ranger, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, Red Ranger with the Dino Cycle. And then behind Groot is a John Cena action figure. And then I have some other Power Ranger stuff up there as well. They're just behind the pop vinyls. Um, so yeah, and then over here, I have a, a, a Ninja Turtle Raphael in the box, Ooze Action with the Loot Crate uh, theme it came for that month. I kept the box because it kind of fit. Then I got a Daniel Bryan in box. Let's zoom out a little, there you go. Daniel Bryan in the box, hanging up. Let's see, what else? Well, also, what's really cool is I got this Green Ranger character from my friend Donovan Troy. He gave me this little like thing there, like a mystery unboxing. You could buy like a bunch of them. It gave me um, Green Ranger, and then a mystery one, which is Goldar. Uh, Tommy, I'm going to get you for Empress Rita. Fail. <laughs> but yeah, I got that as well. And then, of course, I collect WWE items. So the title belt, World Heavyweight Championship, I made sure I got that before it stopped. they stopped making it because the championship's unified. Got the Eric Rowan sheet mask, 
the Bray Wyatt fedora, the WWE Championship before it was unified. And yeah, so that's basically what I got. Um, and then just some random posters over here you never see because I never film over on this side. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put you back up here and continue to film. And then I bought this cool little Kingdom Hearts thing at uh, Grape Con in uh, Stockton, not Stockton. It was Grape City Con, but yeah. So that's where I got that from, but it was pretty cool. And of course, all my achievements and awards, my signed D Pride March shirt from the past, Kalo shirt with my Biggest Loser medal, and of course, my article in the news, Perfect Call Award, Biggest Loser Award, and Twilight poster. <laughs> So yeah, guys, what did you guys think about my collection? I pretty, I, I like what I have for my collection. Um, I'm trying to expand more on it. Like, I want to get more of the Power Ranger stuff, like the Legacy Dragon Zord, Legacy Dragon Dagger, uh, Titanus, Legacy Megazord, uh, Legacy uh, Saba, uh, the uh, the limited edition Black and White or Black and Gold White Tigers or Megazord. And then also what I want to get is the White Tiger Zord. And there's a black version of that as well. Uh, along with Saba, there's a black and gold version of Saba, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let me know down, uh, down in the comments to see if you guys collect anything. I'd be pretty interested to hear what you guys collect. And I don't know if you guys knew about this, but my Twitter was hacked on Friday morning. I got a call from American Airlines and the FBI basically saying because someone hacked my account and tweeted that it was going to bomb a plane that wasn't me someone hacked my account i wasn't able to get into my twitter and uh, to whoever did that you are a real a-hole and i'm sorry for all the tweets and stuff i'm fine my twitter's back in my control and um yeah so if you got a tweet from some from my account on friday morning early in the morning it wasn't from me and I'm sorry, but yeah, my Twitter is back in my control and I'm not gonna bomb any planes. I'm not gonna do anything like that. Um, I'm not gonna hurt myself or anything like that, so don't worry, I'm fine. I actually got some good announcements coming to you guys soon. I don't wanna talk about them yet because they're not set in stone, but I got some cool announcements. Um, green screen vlogs, I'm gonna tell you this much. Uh, there's only one more we're gonna do, me and Chris, we're gonna do together. Uh, that will come, uh, come around to the announcement of what I'm gonna announce. But just for now, I'll give you a, a, a little hint that the green screen vlogs, the next one we do will be our final green screen vlog. And uh, yeah, so more into that later on. But anyways guys, just do what this clip says. Alrighty here, I'm chilling here with my man. What's, What's up? up? And he's here to say, and be kind to one another, and I'm out. Deuces. Yes, sir! Kyle! Peace! That's how you do it. Thanks, Kayla! What's up, bros? This is Maddie, one half of the Maddie Sion. Apparently, that's our nickname. And uh, you're watching Kalo. Duh. Hey, guys, Jason David Frank, and you were watching Kalo on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> you guys can grow on YouTube just like me. All it's taken away, Bo. Holy! <laughs> Haters and Twitter hackers make me famous, but I love my fans, so cue the outro and sing it, Hungry Lights. Haters make me famous! Haters make me famous! Haters make me famous!